Hi everybody, it's Mark Schelsch here. This is the Mark Art Show coming to you from Galleria de las Islas in Metro Manila, Philippines. And I'm standing in front of some of Mark Hernandez's paintings. You can see here the different ones that he's done. His work is quite outstanding. And uh, it's amazing how many people really do love outsider work. I want to talk today about something that happened yesterday in the gallery. And it was about selling. And I thought I should relate it to you artists to give you kind of an idea of what goes on. Because oftentimes artists have a really strange idea about the magic of the gallery and what the gallery can do and what the gallery can't do. But this was one of those things that I call the miracle buyer. Now, we have lots and lots of different kind of buyers. We have the, the, the shame buyer and different other buyers. But this one I see as the miracle buyer. Yesterday, a couple came in. They were travelers. They were going uh, away, they were traveling very light, and uh, I didn't think they were going to get anything. They were just wandering around, and we get a lot of tourists wander around. And, and then they came and spoke to me about some paintings, but they needed to be able to ship them, and this was one of the things that they talked about. And I just like, kind of wondered what was going on, and then I said to them, well, you know, wh what are you talking about? Are you looking at paintings? And they said, yes, they were looking at getting some paintings. And in the end, they purchased three paintings, which I was stunned by. Now, my question was, they didn't know anything about the gallery. They didn't know anything about the artist. So this is why I call it the miracle buyer. And I tell you what, we don't get many of these. But my question was, why did they buy a particular artist? And they bought three paintings by this particular artist. They didn't know him. They didn't know anything about him. They didn't know anything at all about the gallery or the painter or anything about Philippine art. They were foreigners. So what was it that did it? Maybe they knew the genre because it was outsider art. And maybe they were looking, they already knew the genre of outsider art. They loved Mark's work uh, and they loved Jimmy's work. And maybe they were looking at that rather than at a particular artist because normally people come in looking for an artist. And then they bought three paintings and then they had to arrange for shipment of these paintings back to where they lived. So it really comes to the point of why should I buy a painting? What is it about a painting? Now, for this couple, they, I think, personally, that they were looking for a certain genre of art and that they were going to buy that art. And this does not happen very often, and that's why I'm talking about it. The miracle buyer like this doesn't very often happen. Most buyers who come into the gallery, they want a particular artist, they want a particular style of this artist, they're looking for really specific things. And they, when this kind of buyer comes in, it creates a lot of questions. And I sit down and think, why? Why did they do that? Why did they buy this artist? Why did they buy three of this artist? What was it about the paintings? What were they looking for? And all I can end up coming to is that they were after a certain genre. Now, why am I telling you this? Because this doesn't happen often. And it most likely may happen once or twice in your whole life. So that... For the average artist, for you, for me, for the painter who wants to sell their work, we got to become known. And that's so important. This kind of thing we hear about happening, but it doesn't happen very often. It's not very often that I get someone comes in and just, the miracle buyer. Oh, it happens when people are looking for gifts. It happens when they're trying to buy a present for someone leaving a job. That kind of thing you'll get the, the buyer. But then it's, it's really price orientated rather than genre orientated. Where these buyers yesterday were very much genre orientated. The three paintings they bought were alike. And as I said, they were outsider artists. So, you and I, when we go to sell our paintings, we can't rely on the miracle sale. We've got to rely on the known sale, the word of mouth sale, the person asking for a particular artist. And that's what we need to be able to know. And we need to do that only by getting known. If we do not get attention, if we do not get people's attention, then they won't know us. The miracle buyer happens, but very seldom. Most times it's because they know the artist, they know the product, they know what they want. 
Okay, the internet gives you and I artists the greatest opportunity ever that artists have ever had before in the history of art. You and I have the ability to connect with millions of people without ever having to meet them or go into their house or put out work in a gallery. Now, I like to meet people and I like to shake hands and all that sort of thing. It's very important. But we are living in a day where you can do the whole transaction over the internet, pay it through the internet and send it to the person and never have to actually meet the person before. And we have the potential of meeting millions of people if we concentrate on getting our, ourselves known on the internet. And that's what we've got to do. And I keep saying it all the time. Artists, people need to know you. People need to know you in your community. People need to know you in your uh, internet community. People need to know what you do, the variety of work you do. And I'm not one person who believes in you should just paint one style of art. You've seen the paintings I put up. I, I did whatever I felt like at the time. I just painted. And I believe that's what artists should be. Be creative, doing new things, testing new waters, going there. But we must be known. Not just the work should be known, but the face should be known. So the people know you. Now, the internet gives us the ability to do something that we've never been able to do before. We are able to connect with people so that people truly feel like they know us that we can see them every day on the internet and they feel as if they know us personally. That is so important. That is so wonderful. That is so good. That is marvelous. And every artist should really take what I'm saying very, very seriously. You have the ability, with just a little bit of time, a little bit of effort, to truly connect with people. You can put out a blog every day and connect with thousands of people. You can do a video like I do and you will connect with thousands of people. You can do live studio, put uh, Facebook live if your internet connection is good and people can watch you paint and hear you chatting with them. Never before have we been able to do that and connect with thousands of people. Now think about this. And they will know you. They will recognize you and recognize your art. Never before. Artists, this is the most incredible opportunity that's given out to all of us. For free, we can do this. And you and I have a responsibility, if we want our work to get known, to put it out there. You know, if you don't want to do a blog every day, all you have to do is a little artist chat about what you did and, and put it up every day, just three or four minutes. Now people say, oh, but I have so much trouble writing. But you don't have any trouble talking, so just talk and write them down as you talk. We need people to feel like they know us. When they build that connection, when relationship begins, then they'll begin to love our work as well. You know, I can tell you, friends, since I've been putting my paintings up on my blog, and I've done that because some people were complaining that just my face was on my blog, so I put paintings up there. I wish I had these paintings. My Lord in heaven, I could have sold them all. It just stuns me that people build a connection, and you and I build a connection together. Every day when we get on the internet here and talk and I chat with you, we're building connection. We're building relationship. Artists, this is not hard to do. And you can do it. You truly can. Connection builds relationships which will build sales. And I truly believe that. Okay, my friends, it's Saturday here in Manila. I'm off uh, this afternoon. I'm going to go to an auction and I want to go and see a show afterwards. Um, I get a busy day ahead of me. I hope you have a fabulous day. I hope you're inspired to do something with the internet because it's there for you to use. Uh, and I'm going to be back on Monday to talk with you. I hope you have a fabulous weekend. I really do. Paint, paint, paint. And connect, connect, connect. 
and, uh, and pray for the miracle buyer if you don't want to do it, but there's not many of them around, trust me. Okay, have a fabulous weekend. Uh, I look forward to the day when you come and visit me here in Metro Manila and come to Galleria de las Islas and be caring for people. There's a lot of hurt people out there. Give them a smile, give them a hug. They're free, give them away generously. You have a fabulous weekend. My name's Mark. I'm here in Galleria de las Islas and I will talk to you on Monday. Ciao.